Hey, this is Captain Noob, and this is the farmer. and I'm gonna keep pronouncing it like that, and if you're mad about it, just go ahead and dislike this video. So this thing is a French automatic rifle thing that I don't really know that much about it, but if you would like to share something interesting in the comments, go ahead. But if you actually want to learn about this weapon, go to an actual weapons channel or just look it up on Google. Anyway, getting into the attachments here, this thing goes all the way up to advanced receiver. There's only a few little bits of... Um, receivers you can choose from so it, they're basically all damage receivers there's no calibrated ones that you could use to boost your crit damage for the barrels you've got short short ported and also long barrel i'll go for the short ported barrel for superior recoil because this thing kicks quite a bit as you would expect an automatic rifle that fires as fast to actually do so here's where it starts getting a little bit more interesting so you've got the frame grip and the frameless grip and that'll actually have the you know the regular grip animations but if you go ahead and chuck on the CQB grip if that pops up there you'll actually hold it on the front of that on the front of that little foregrip there so that's good so it decreases recoil and AP cost so I don't think that's a bad thing next up for the magazines you've got a whole bunch here but I think what I want to do is chuck on the extended quick eject magazine and that'll give us the best ammo capacity for just uh, and uh, quick reload now for the sights here, we've got a whole slew of iron sights, which you can choose to go for uh, one times or 1.5 times zooming, or a holographic sight, and that'll give you times two, or an ACOG scope, which is see-through by the way, which will give you four times, but I think that's a little bit over the top, so I think I'll just go for the standard iron glow sights there, so that'll look very nice once we get into it. Now for the barrel, I mean the muzzle, we've got the usual stuff, so muzzle brake, compensator, and suppressor going to go for the suppressor every time because why wouldn't you you've got a bipod here it does nothing but it's a little cosmetic thing if you want to go ahead and chuck that on leaving that in its open position would probably get in the way of the foregrip of this weapon so i'm not going to chuck that on but if you like the look of the weapon with it then go ahead and do that so we've got a flashlight and laser sight here we can uh, we can attach both of these at once but not that one that's kind of weird but That'll do me very nicely indeed, so you know what, we'll just chuck on the laser side. I don't usually use a flasher anyway, and I think the Pip-Boy light is good enough. Now you can go ahead and change the zoom on this also, so if you think this weapon just isn't giving you enough zoom, or would like to reach out a little bit more with it, you can go ahead and upgrade the zooming, and that'll help you take on long-range targets, which is nice. Now, this thing interestingly has semi-auto and auto, that's stock standard, but also has a three-round burst, which is actually really interesting. So we'll go ahead and chuck that on and next up you've also got the damage sliders here if you feel like this weapon isn't doing quite enough for you and you've got a little bit of retextures if you feel like it i go ahead and urge you to download this mod and try it for yourself if you want to see what those textures look like because i see bf actually getting the junk ready to show that to you but i don't like to see absolutely everything I don't need to hold your hand through the entire thing anyway so this weapon mod actually comes with a, a second famous or famas here and it's a uh, it's just a little bit different and uh, one thing I'd like to flag about it is that basically all the um, customization options are the, are the same but uh, for some reason you've got the standard texture and the white gold texture which um requires 10 gold a screwdriver and the Institute so I guess this weapon uh, you put this thing, it's white gold textures on, I guess it just devours the entire institute, so uh, better be worth it, I suppose. Anyway, enough about that, let's get into Gunner's Plaza and see what this bad boy can do. Right, so here we are in Gunner's Plaza, and if you notice the strange camo on my Pip-Boy there, the, uh, another wave of uh, Creation Club stuff has landed as we go ahead and get stuck into these Gunners and why isn't this thing making sound? Oh, there it is, it finally caught up. You're gonna die. There we go. So, this one brings you the uh, desert camo for your Pip-Boy and Power Armor, which is currently free, so if you want to pick up some free Creation Club goodies, go ahead and do that. There was also a uh, mod from Alienora, so yeah, this Creation Club business is totally fucking ruining our modders' careers. Imagine that, having a career out of fucking Fallout modding. Or maybe she does something else, I don't fucking know, but I don't really care about her, to be honest. So yeah, she adds another just a settlement stuff, and it's pretty neat. Some of the stuff is actually pretty decent, but it's a settlement thing, so it's not really piqued my interest. Another thing, they added just a whole bunch of paints for your weapon, which is not um, 
compatible with the armor keywords patch, so it's going to be a pain in the ass to buy that and then have to download yet another patch for it, but whatever, that's what I did. And some of the camos look pretty slick, although it is rather heavy on the uh, data size, but that's fine. Anyway, so if you haven't noticed, I don't really need to talk about how this weapon is performing. It's actually doing super well. And as for the burst fire here, you can absolutely hammer the trigger to make this thing fire faster than it would in full auto anyway. And since this thing hits just a little bit harder using the burst fire mode than the automatic mode, I don't see any reason to use the automatic mode at all. Unless you've got major RSI in your finger from spamming the trigger too hard, which would be painful to have and yeah if you're feeling lazy then you can go ahead and use the automatic but if you feel like getting the best damage you can out of your famas then yeah it's a good way to have anyway you're going to die gunner and for some reason this thing sounds keeps glitching which is actually kind of annoying me right now but as you can tell there we've got uh, animations for the reloading and the sprinting and the bashing yes we do Excellent. So everything, the models, textures, animations is really slick and so is the damage. So, so far this weapon mod has really impressed me. Next up, Swan. Alright, so there's Swan. He's fighting a bunch of rust devils which will probably slow down the kill considerably. So I guess we'll help him out to start off with because these rust devils are quite annoying. Now, one of the downsides about having this burst fire mode is that it uses the same animations that it would for a uh, semi-auto weapon. So you see the weapon sight sort of kick up and out of place as you fire this thing, which makes tracking targets... Wow, that dude flew far. Which makes tracking targets at range a real problem because you simply don't have the middle sight uh, thing trained on them half the time. So, uh, we'll pick keep on finishing off these blokes and you know what you earned yourself a crit just for annoying me didn't quite kill him mutated him because everyone in this bloody game is legendary now thanks to the mods I put on it so that's why you see a bunch of legendaries in Gunners Plaza because I've just modded it that way and it appears that I'm only firing one bullet in in uh, vats there that's interesting but quickly just take out Swan's health there what else is there that I've, that I've might aggroed because whatever is there it is aggroing Swan and I can't get any sneak attacks on him. You're going to die with a crit to the head. There we go. Maybe it's firing all the three bullets at once and that's why it's... Okay, now Swan's onto us. Okay, we just need to back off a little bit because I actually want to shred him with a little bit of sneak attack criticals. Nope, that's not the right way to go. There we go, struggling to jump through that crane. Must be getting a little bit rusty over the couple of days that I haven't played. And uh, why that is, is because I've got a full-time job and I do some overtime uh, and it's exhausting. I'm working, well, it's like an 11-hour thing, commitment each day, so it takes it out of your butt. Uh, I'll be able to make lots more videos as I've got holidays coming up pretty soon, which is good. So we'll go ahead and shred one with all of these sneak attack criticals and doing this with the burst fire mode we can just hammer that trigger and kill him very easily indeed. So you know what, I think that is uh, basically what you want to see from this thing. It's going to be super powerful but let's go ahead and make it better, add some legendary effects. We'll start with Furious because that will work really well when stacking with the Super fire rate of that burst fire. Righto, got this thing fitted with the Furious effect. There's a giant Deathclaw over there that we could kill very easily with that. So let's get started. Just going to aim in third person here just so we don't uh, have those sights messing up our aims. And as you can tell there, the reload animation is happening in third person too, which is attention to detail that I absolutely like to see. Anyways, we'll go ahead and take out his belly now because I'm pretty sure we've been spotted at this point and look at all that damage we're doing it's yeah he's not going to last very long provided I can just get these next couple of shots on him good on the AP usage there because we certainly shredded him and down he goes okay so now we just have to deal with a couple of these minions and that'll be about it for the death claws for today yeah, that mythic death claws was the right idea, but he can only hobble away at the speed of me walking because I broke his leg. The poor bastard wanted out, but I didn't get him. So, yep, that was the uh, Nightcrawler death claw thingy who 
yeah, Chameleon one, he goes invisible, but not really, because there are no invisible death claws, despite being a tooltip in the game that would suggest that, and so let's go ahead and move on to the last monster, and maybe one more legendary effect of, uh, the Captain Noob variety. Before we take on that Mylurk over there, I just want to take a look at this thing in third person. So I got a complaint or just a comment a while back saying how the weapons in this game, they never jump on your shoulder, or the stock's never against your shoulder or anything, and that reduces the immersion for some reason. So this thing sort of half does it there, you've got it clipping through the shoulder, so maybe a little bit of overcorrection there. But the good thing is, once you've got it relaxed, it doesn't really clip that bad, so that's fine. When you crouch, though, it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can tell that uh, there's uh, just a little bit of a uh, thing there, and that is uh, really close to the site there. You probably take your eye out like that, but anyway, we'll go ahead and get stuck into this Mylurk. We'll go into third person because, yes, we've got the uh, explosive... Um, what are they called? Railway spikes firing from this thing, which, um, yeah, it's going to leave it dead very, very quickly indeed, but, you know what, I think that is a good time to, uh, say goodbye to this weapon, it's been fun, but, that is it for the Famous, or the Famas, or whatever you want to call this thing, a French automatic rifle, who knows. So, if you'd like to see this weapon in your game, be sure to check out the description below, I think this one's been out for quite a while, so, I'm moderately certain that this thing is on Xbox as well as PC. And if you'd like to see some of the legendary effects, or well, one of them being this one, I believe this one is on PS4, Xbox, and PC as well. So, whilst you may not get the rifle, you can get some of the legendary effects, so not everyone is missing out here. And again, I'll remind you of the Creation Club stuff that is free now. Go ahead and grab it while it's free, because it probably won't be free for long. Anyway, that's about it for that. Thank you for watching, guys.